Okay, it's Tuesday the 16th of March. I'm uh, here today uh, in anticipation of the America's Cup, but I've got two assistants. Uh, Sophia, who is from Jan Logie's office, uh, she's an intern, uh, and Sam, who's from Simon Bridges' office, who is also uh, an intern. What's this intern stuff about, Sam? Uh, the Victoria University of Wellington runs a political science honours course which you can sign up to and you essentially shadow an MP for six months and yeah, experience all the ins and outs of government. What, what's been going on so far, Sophia, with, with your internship? Um, I got to do an exciting thing last week, which was go to the Members Bill ballot. <laughs> that was a pretty fun experience to see how that happens, but yeah. Okay, so they're going to help later on, but first of all, I'm going to we're going to say what's happening today. In fact, straight away, Sophia, what's, what's first up? Something unusual first up today. So we have a member's motion from Ibrahim Omar um, for no debate in regards to the second anniversary of the attacks of the Christchurch Mashadan. And after that, uh, we'll go to questions. Um, the first question in the name of, of Dr Shane Retty to the Prime Minister, uh, does she stand by all her government's statements and actions? Uh, Angela Roberts to the Minister of Education about uh, training and apprenticeships. Jan Logie um, to the Minister for ACC um, about support for survivors and witnesses of the terrorist attack. Um, Andrew Bailey to the Minister of Finance uh, about uh, the cost of not having a bubble with Australia. Uh, Teresa Ngobi to the Minister for Social Development about the social work profession. David Seymour to the Prime Minister uh, about uh, whether she stands by all her government states and actions in relation to um, Ihu Mato. Um, Chris Bishop to the Minister for COVID about the decision-making framework for a bubble. Uh, Ibrahim Omar to the Lead Coordination Minister for the Government's response to the Royal Commission's report into the terrorist attack on the Christchurch mosques about what recent announcements he's made on ongoing work in that area. Todd McClay to the Minister of Tourism about the benefits of a bubble. Uh, Shannon Halbert to the Minister of Transport about investment in Auckland Transport. Erica Stanford to the Minister of Im Immigration about reunification of families. And Rachel Brooking to the Minister of Conservation about projects in South Westland. Then after that, we will go on to legislation. Sam, what's the, the first uh, three bills? There's an appropriation confirmation bill sponsored by the Honourable Grant Robertson, which is at its first reading and there will be no debate. And this bill confirms the Public Finance Order 2020. There's a Financial Market Infrastructures Bill, which is at its second reading, also by Grant Robertson, which establishes a new regulatory regime for financial market infrastructures and also provides certain financial market infrastructures with legal protections. And there's a Commerce Amendment Bill, which is at its first reading by David, Dr. David Clark, which amends the Commerce Act in 1986 to strengthen the prohibition against misuse of market power and makes other changes to improve the functioning of the Act. And then after that, Sophia, what are we going to go on to? So we have the Rating of Whenua Māori Amendment Bill um, and it's second reading continuing from the Honourable Nanaia Mahuta. Um, and this bill's uh, regarding the provision of housing on Māori land. Um, then we have the Child Support Amendment Bill, um, which is at the Committee of the Whole House. This is from Honourable David Parker. Um, this bill amends the Child Support Act 1991 uh, by simplifying penalty T rules, introducing payment of financial support by compulsory deduction and imposing, imposing a time bar of four years and inserting a wider definition of income. Then we have um, secondary legislation bill, again, the Committee of the Whole House from Honourable David Parker, um, the six to improve and support the law relating to the mark, making of secondary leg legislation by applying the framework of access to and the parliamentary oversight of secondary legislation provided for in the Legislation Act 2019. So that last one is pretty dry. <laughs> it's, pr it's pretty dry, it's, you know, it's how regulations fit in. We might just get on to the uh, Building Products and Methods uh, Bill in the name of the Honourable Porter Williams, pretty unlikely. Um, we will run today from two o'clock until six o'clock, from seven o'clock till uh, 10 o'clock, and 
select committees will be sitting tomorrow morning and I'll be back here at 2 o'clock tomorrow.